Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys, in the view of us, I'm going to be going hunting sentinel walkers. Why would I do something as crazy as that, you may say, people in the view of us? Well, inside of your catalogue now, people, if you hit on up, the Viking, you can see here, walkers destroyed. I've killed a total of 31 of them. Yes, and I've got to take out 35 to get my next milestone, and I've already maxed all other badges and medals in that area. So yes, that's what we're doing. I've just cleared out some inventory space because yes, we're going to get loads of shards of glass. The shards of glass you can pop and create, get sentinel modules that you can sell or install. Heck yes. Right, well let's head on over. Right, we're going to upset the sentinels by picking up these gravitino balls. This is an extreme sentinel world. If you want to come here, it's in Euclid. And there's your portal code on the screen. Righto, people, so let's pick on up one of these Gravitino balls. Go on, let me. Why does it keep doing that? Okay, there we go, done. I found that, that does, it does that a lot more often now, doesn't it? Anyways, once you get a sentinel swarm of sentinels like this, right, what you want to do is try and take out the healers. If you can't see the healers at first, just shoot one of the other sentinels and the healer should come to its aid. Yes, you can trap it. Heck, here's your gun. So here we go. Now, what I would say is if they pop up these shields, it's quite good because you can stand at the opposite side they can't shoot you either right if you see a sentinel quad dog i'm using my geology cannon to take him out as quickly as possible they can do quite a lot of damage and they, they're really good at sneaking up on you and headbutting you so yes be careful of those so after i take out the healers i usually focus on the spawners second they're the ones that look like little wizards they're like little triangular type ones and then i take out these armor plated gits now if you are taking a few hits Pick up some of the green canisters. It will replenish your shields. And not only that, it will give you some projectile ammunition. Now, you don't want your shields to go all the way down or else you are going to take module damage. Yes, that's a new thing that's been introduced. So just be a little bit careful. Right, here you go. I'm trying to focus on the healer. And look there. There's a healer trying to heal a healer. Yeah, that's a little bit sneaky, isn't it? I don't know whether they used to do that before. I think they used to only heal the other kinds of sentinels, not their own. But anyway, they do that now. So here we go. Die, sentinels, die. So yes, now if they do put up those shields, like I say, they can't shoot you. So you can kind of use their shields against them, which is a nice gnarly little tip. I tend to pick up green canisters once I see my shield bar hit about the half past mark because you don't really want to let it trickle down much further than that for fear of taking any sort of damage. So here we go. I'm going to pick up these green canisters. You can see the bar went up a little there. I could do with getting some more. A quad dog? Take him out. Okay, now this one. This one is like a minotaur. So this is the bipedal type ones. Get too close to them. They have a flamethrower. So don't get close to them. The flamethrower does quite a lot of damage. You can see here he wants to get close to me. So I'm putting a bit of distance between me and him. I want to make sure I've got rid of the healers because they will heal that freaking juggernaut. And we don't really want him to get his energy back. Heck no. Right, so I picked up a green canister to make sure I've got full health before I go up against him. Now I missed with a geology cannon but what you want to do is focus at shooting his legs at first and you're going to see his energy bar go down to about mm, about halfway once his energy bar goes down to about halfway you want to focus on his upper body and his arms and yeah then he's completely tated there you go he's done he's freaking toast people there we go pick that one up lovely jubbly head on back over pick up some of these green canisters before the next wave comes make sure that i'm in good health there's a blue one in that crater down there that's from one of the quad dogs you can see there that it said that the sentinel walker was going to be summoned i find that the sentinel walker doesn't drop until you take out a wave of the sentinels now why they were all clustered together there i should have hit them with a geology cannon or like something else that does a lot of damage like you know whatever you've got there is that new stunt grenade that works well against sentinels. Take this, sentinel scourge. Heck yeah, that freaking healer. Right, there we go. Dundily and done. I love their shields. They look like something out of the Legend of Celta, don't they? Dum da dum, dum da dum da dum, dum da dum da dum, dum dum, diddly dum, diddly dum, diddly dum, dum dum, dum diddly dum. I don't know about you, but that's the sort of music I've got playing in my head when I'm shooting this sentinel scourge, thanks to these lovely shields, because they do look like the Triforce type logo, don't they?
<laughs> they really do. They're Legend of Zelda fans, these freaking Sentinels. Heck yes, they are. Right oh, Well, we've got another one of these juggernauty type, minatory type ones to take out. Look, there's the flamethrower. I got close on purpose there, people, just to show you you don't want to get hit by their flamethrower. Heck no, you don't. Right. He's pretty darn freaking epic, though, isn't he? Now, you could call in your own minotaur if you wanted, and that, that can distract the Sentinels, but just keep in mind, it takes a shed load of damage, and you're going to end up having to repair it afterwards. It helps if you've got a load of repair kits, but I don't bother calling mine in because it just... It seems to be more trouble than it's worth half the time. Anyhow, take this, Sentinel Scourge. Oh yes, and pets don't seem to help you against Sentinels, which is a bit of a shame since you stick laser cannons on the dang things. Yeah, occasionally they might target a Sentinel by accident, but most of the time your pet's just going to get in the way, which it's a bit of a shame. It's a shame. I would like to see the, the actual pets do more against Sentinel sort of waves because that would be quite cool, wouldn't it? And it would be awesome if you could actually shoot from the creature's back and also also of the creature shot as well. It'd be more like Dino Riders then, wouldn't it? Freaking excellent cartoon from the 80s that I grew up on. Anyway, I'm just bumbling around at the moment, hoping that a Sentinel Walker is going to drop in. Yeah, I haven't actually done combat against the Sentinel Walker for quite some time, people in the viewer, so I'm not even sure. Oh, look, it just airdropped in. I was about to say, it would be cool if it still does the airdrop, like Titanfall, and it does. So, when you get a Sentinel Walker pop in, focus on its lower legs first, take out the plate in there, and then move up onto its thigh joints. And when you do, look, it goes all bowed legged. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, you cripple it a bit. It stuns it for a while. Now I'm just going to fire three geology cannons right at its freaking face. Take that. Okay, I've gone to town with my geology cannon. That was actually five. But I've blown it to smithereens. Dead. Right, now the actual brain box is inside there. There we go. We've got our walker brain. Lovely jobly. Heck yes, we did. Boom. And once I actually take out this last wave, something interesting will happen, people in the view of us. Here we go. Now watch this. It will go blue instead of being red on the old sentinel warning sort of lights at the top there and it would say sentinels have been disabled i was going to fire a geology cannon wires in the air but i needed to reload it i believe anyhow let's um let's just keep shooting at these guys and hopefully take them out take that you in the face heck yes freaking healer heal that get back Okay, now I quite like using the pulse spitter that I'm using right now because it gives a little bit of fire damage. So when you get the health all the way down to where they've got about 5% left, you can stop shooting them because hopefully the fire damage is going to finish them off. It's a lovely little weapon against the Sentinels. It just proper melts them. It really does. Pretty darn freaking epic and awesome. Die! I also like the Neutron Cannon because it's got a bit of splash damage so it does a lot of area effect when you've got the Sentinels first sort of drop in. But I haven't got the Neutron Cannon and installed inside of this multi-tool there we go let's pick up these nice and uh, get all of our health back you can see there at the top it's now gone sentinels disabled and it's given me a sentinel nest been received now if i don't want to leave this planet and i want to continue harvesting sentinels right now because they're disabled it makes it a little bit tough doesn't it yeah, so all I'm going to do is jump in my ship and out of my ship, people in the view of us, create an autosave, and then reload the autosave. But what I need to do first is really fly somewhere where all these craters aren't, because I've blown up so much of the landscape. I don't want to continue doing it, or else I'd be walking in Swiss cheese. So I'm going to take off and try and find somewhere that looks a little bit flat. Heck yes, because the flatter the landscape here, probably the better for line of sight on your sentinels. So here we go. Important announcement time, people in the view of us. If you're liking what you're seeing with your eye peepers and hearing with your ear holes, please like and subscribe. Do the thing. Heck yes. Important announcement over. Back to killing Sentinel Walkers with Captain of the Staves. Right, oh, peeps in the view of us. Right, I am back. Heck yes, I am. And I found myself a nice little gnarly flat landscape. So you can see here that the Sentinels are no longer disabled. I've killed 32 walkers. But you see down in the bottom right hand corner there, it says 32 of 40, doesn't it? Oh, it's just vanished. When it pops up on the screen, I'll make it nice and big so it's nice and clear for you. Anyway, I'm going to pick up a Gravitino ball and I'm just going to do all of that exercise again. But I'm going to speed on up the footage. And if I've got any additional tips, I'll add them by slowing it back down. Captain Steve, for Captain Steve, for Captain, Captain.
Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, how do you do things you do? I'm Captain Steve, oh Captain Steve, I want to play the game with you. Okay, chums, well, here's a slow bed. So, yes, you can see here that the sentinels are searching. But where is the sentinel? He's all the way over here, well away from where all the action was happening. It's a straggler. This can happen at any point in time. As so one sentinel can get hung up on the landscape or something weird happens. And yes, you have to go and hunt the sentinel down. Because, yes, if you don't, it's going to drop your wanted level. Look, my wanted level's gone all the way back down to one now. Boom, he's dead anyway. But yes, he was a last one so hopefully that's going to register yeah sentinel activity disabled because i've done all waves there but that was a little bit lucky if it went any lower i probably would have had to start all that all over again freaking not great anyway i'm going to jump back over here i'm going to pick up all these green canisters yeah lovely jobs and you're going to see i'm going to get some sharded glass and all that sort of stuff or sentinel glass whatever you want to call it yeah there you go salvaged glass that's the one brilliant and uh, yeah i'm going to pop all those and get a shed load of modules i'm happy with the modules that i've got so i'll probably just be selling these at the nearest sort of convenience but anyhow people i did mention about the lower right corner of the screen didn't i it's still not there we go it's popped up it's popped up i make it large so there we go 33 of 40 i've killed now it says there but i'm sure that the target said 35 for the next milestone so i'm thinking it's going to go up way higher than the 35 so i don't think i'm going to be able to do this in this one video so i think what i might do is just pop on over to the sentinel pillar and yeah i'll show you what's in the sentinel pillar people yeah i won't do any more of this episode so here we go let's head on over to the sentinel pillar people in the viewer verse so sentinel pillars are quite new they got added into the verse and what they let you do is deactivate the sentinel activity in the system until um well i don't know the actual duration of time but if you do a reload of your save or whatever it, it puts the sentinels back into play so yeah yeah i think it's just until the next time you log on log off or do a reload of your auto save or whatever but anyhow i'm going to head on over to the sentinel pillar now something to note about the sentinel pillar is if you disable the sentinels from the sentinel pillar it actually explodicates all sentinels in the nearby region so yeah, even if there's something big out there, like one of those minotaurs, boom, dead. So I think it may even work with the sentinel walkers. I've not put that to the testers yet. I might do in the next video if I do another one of these when I'm hunting sentinel walkers. And we will see if the sentinel pillar destroys sentinel walkers. In fact, I'll probably do it as a quick three minute video and use it as trailers for premieres and stuff if it works. So anyhow, this is a sentinel pillar. And in the sentinel pillar, you've got some interesting stuff. One of the things that's really interesting is extract weapon technology because it's going to offer you up a new multi-tool now the multi-tool will be free but it has broken tech in it so yeah it's one of those you used to have to pay for it but it's been changed now now if you take out all these nodes you are going to get given some nanites and some salvaged glass and you are going to draw the sentinel attention so despite it actually disabling the sentinels earlier they're not disabled now heck no they're not they sprung back into life and now they want my guts for their garters right well i'm gonna go on over to here i'm gonna hit this up and watch i'll hit uh, disable act there you go shut down sentinel forces boom you watch him explode that little healer yes you're gonna die boom he's gone now that happened to all sentinels on screen like i say i want to test if it works on a walker you can also access the logs now you may have noticed there it looked like it said ariadne but with some numbers replacing letters so it seems to be that ariadne might be assisting from the other side but look at this it mentions the abyss and the abyss is smiling upon us and it's asking why don't we join us so it makes me wonder whether this is a boundary failure of some kind yeah that might bridge the void or the abyss or the realm of glass whatever you want to call it i think it's one in the same place i'm really not sure though but anyway we're now up to 30 33 of 35 i may do a follow-up video to show you what happens when i hit 35 but i think it's just going to move to 40 people in the view of us till next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again well thank you very much for watching if you like what you see please hit a like and a subscribe and i'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on patreon and over on youtube membership thanking you backers and if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.